Um, actually, I started to talk about the history of the immunomodulatory drugs, uh, the IMITs, um, starting with thalidomide in 1999, approved for multiple myeloma. Uh, it was first approved for treating morning sickness in pregnant uh, women uh, in 1957, and there were devastating side effects for the children. As, uh, as you might know, there was this embryonopathy. And uh, so there was a long time when we did not use those drugs. And then um, the idea was to, to use those, uh, this thalidomide as an anti-angiogenic drug in cancer patients. And I mean, the most important step was in, in multiple myeloma. And so thalidomide was approved for multiple myeloma. It was approved a single agent and also in a combination with uh, the standard of that time, melphalonprednisone uh, as MPT regimen. And um, after that, the development went on with lenalidomide, which was the second generation, and pomalidomide, the third, uh, third generation. And so both drugs were approved in combination with uh, dexamethasone. And the studies for that were a comparison of uh, lenalidomide dexamethasone with dexamethasone uh, compared to dexamethasone alone, and also pomalidomide compared to dexamethasone alone. And um, so both were better than the dexamethasone and they were approved for uh, second or later lines of therapy. And uh, further on, it was uh, discovered that uh, len especially lenalidomide and dexamethasone is a very good com uh, combination partner with other drugs. And there have been a lot of new drugs available and most of them have, have been tested together with lenalidomide dexamethasone as kind of a backbone of the therapy. And um, it, it was used with elotuzumab, with daratumumab, with uh, cafilzumib, with ixazomib, and all those drugs were, um, or most of them were approved together with lenalidomide and dexamethasone. Another important um, region where the imits are used is the maintenance therapy. Since there are oral drugs, it's very easy to give them for several months or years even. And so there was a meta-analysis presented at the last ASH meeting where it was shown that the maintenance with uh, lenalidomide was, uh, gave a significant uh, survival benefit for the patients compared to no or placebo, to no maintenance or placebo. So after high-dose therapy, uh, maintenance with lenalidomide is also a very good option and very uh, promising for the patients. I think the conference is very uh, comprehensive. It shows, a, it covers a lot of topics. Um, I think the, the speakers are really um, impressive. I mean, the, those are the big shots in the myeloma field. And I think it's very good to, to have those people and to be able to ask questions because they are in the studies, they know the data, they know the subgroup analysis. And so I think it's a huge opportunity to, to meet those people and to talk to them and to, to learn from them. Mm -hmm.